Hey grade fours, welcome back to our science lab. Today we're going to continue our investigation into light. Now last time we talked about how light travels in a straight line and I showed you how light travels with the laser beam. Well today we are going to do something a little different. Today we're going to talk about how light has another property where it reflects. So we all have seen light reflect whenever you've used a mirror. So light will bounce off of smooth flat surfaces and when it bounces off of a smooth flat surface it goes directly back at you in a straight line so the light will be traveling towards the mirror in a straight line and then hitting the mirror and then bouncing right back at you in a straight line now depending on how you tilt your light source it could be on a different angle but it will be traveling in a straight line so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be experimenting with reflecting light. Hey Great Forest, and welcome back again to my makerspace. Uh, before we get started, I want to show you a little something we've been working on here at home. We have here, we have some potatoes that we want to see sprout. We're going to be planting them in the garden this year. Uh, so my son and daughter were getting them up and going. So hopefully in the next few weeks, you keep them in the, in the basement where it's a little cooler and darker and they'll start to sprout and we can plant them in the garden. Also, we just took some beans, uh, some dried beans, and they started sprouting a little bit. This one, yeah, it started cracking and sprouting. So we'll have to plant this one later, but we've planted them in these little cups and these old yogurt containers. So we'll be putting those in the garden later too. So boys and girls, we are now gonna take a look at our experiment. So earlier we talked about how light travels in a straight line and we did our laser experiment where we had it um, reflecting onto my hand and we could see when we dropped flower in between, we could see the light uh, ref um, traveling in a straight line. We could see the flower particles dancing in the beam and we could fully see the beam of light. Today what we're going to do is we're going to show the light, the laser, bouncing off of our um, shiny reflective mirror. Now as we discussed earlier upstairs, light will bounce off of shiny surfaces like a mirror. So uh, we have our shiny flat surface. We're also going to see what's going to happen when we shine it on a shiny surface, but it's not completely flat and it's a little crinkly. Oh, I just tore it a bit. It's a little crinkly. We're going to see what happens when it bounces off of the tin foil as well. Will it bounce the same way then that it bounces off of the shiny mirror? Let's give it a shot. Okay. Well, I have things set up. I have my mirror here, which you probably hard to see. I have my laser pointer. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take my laser pointer, turn it on directly onto the mirror. And well, first off, I can see it bouncing across the room and I can see it on the other end of the other end of the room against the wall. But to see that, let's take some flour and I'm going to come right here at the point. You can see we have two different streams, two different light beams, one's coming directly towards the mirror and the other is bouncing off. And you can see the two of them. So I'm going to change the angle a little bit so you can see it easier. There. There we go. Pretty neat. So that's bouncing off of our mirror, our smooth flat surface. Let's try bouncing it off the tin foil now. Okay, so all I've done really is put the tin foil over the mirror and I'm going to uh, take the light and first off, right off the bat, if you notice, I'm going to shine right there. You can see that the light is kind of getting scattered by all the little nooks and crannies and all the lines. It's not a completely flat surface. Like when I do it to the mirror, you, you can see that it boom. It's clean, it bounces right back, but when I do it up here, it kind of scatters the light a little more, and you can see it reflecting around in the tin foil. 
but let's take a look at it in the dark. So again, we're going to shine our light, but this time at the tin foil to see if it's a shiny surface, but it's not a smooth, flat surface. We want to see the difference. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to move that right up. I'm going to turn it this way, grab my flower. Here we go. And you're going to see we don't see that same effect that we saw before where the we have a straight line bouncing right off and going to the other side of the room. That's because the light isn't hitting a smooth surface. So it's kind of scattering all over the place. All the lines and creases are making that light kind of jump all over the place and, and go in every direction. All right, now we do have one more thing I'd like to try. I have a metal bowl. Now I want to see which one will be a better reflector of light. Will it be the mirror? or the bowl, will they be the same or will the mirror still be better? I want you guys to put your guess down in your head right now and we'll see which, uh, if we're correct. All right, so okay, so I have my bowl stuck in this vase so I can uh, hold it up and reflect light. Um, again, I'm going to drop the flower in front and we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna do this side of the bowl. We're also gonna do the inside of the bowl and see if there's any difference. All right, so first thing, let's get started. All right, so I'm reflecting into the bowl and right away I can see there's a little bit more reflecting um, uh, around inside the bowl. It's not perfectly smooth and I can see that it's not reflecting over there, but let's do the flower trick, see what happens. And you can't really see too many beams coming off. It's kind of just getting caught inside the bowl because it's not perfectly smooth. Let's turn it around this way to the back. All right, so I have the back. Oh, it's reflecting better off the back. You know, I can see, there I can see the two beams. It's much better. It's reflecting better off the back. It also has to do with the shape of the bowl on the inside, where um, the curves can change how light reflects around. You can see the two lines there. All right. Okay, now it's your turn to do some experimenting with reflecting light. Now, downstairs we used several different materials. We used tin foil, a metal bowl, and a mirror. And each of them reflected light differently. Some were better than others. The mirror had the best job of reflecting light. So what we're going to do is we're going to experiment with different uh, things to see what reflects light the best. Now, you're not going to use a mirror or tin foil. I've already done that. So you're going to go through your house and you're going to see which materials reflect light the best. So, uh, just to demonstrate, I'm going to use a mirror, which you can have a, you can use a mirror too, just to see how um, the light reflects onto my dark cardboard. So I'm going to take my light and I'm going to shine it at the mirror. Now, do this in a darker room as well. That light is bouncing off of the mirror and you can see it creating light on my cardboard. Now you're going to do this with several different things. Find different things from around the house. Maybe a piece of wood, maybe some plastic, uh, maybe something shiny like a piece of glass. Uh, find something that's going to, uh, you think will reflect the light onto the cardboard. Okay, so I have my helper Jack and Stella, and what they're doing is, now my light just died, so we're gonna be using a mobile phone. Hold that, please. So again, I have my dark cardboard here, and I have my light reflecting on the mirror. And you can see on the mirror, I can see a shadow of the phone. So that means I can see that the light is reflecting around the phone, and it's creating it lighter up here, so I can see a shadow. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the exact same experiment, but instead of a mirror, you're going to put something else in the place to see how well it reflects light. We know the mirror reflects light well, but how well do other materials reflect light? And you can see your results on the cardboard.
I also want you to go out and experiment and have fun with light and reflect light around. And I'm gonna show you just how to do that. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to put a mark on the fence or somewhere around your property. X marks the spot, you wanna make a bullseye. Next, you wanna take a mirror and your job is you wanna see where the sun's coming. I can see the sun's reflect right there. So I can see the sun's almost directly above me. I'm going to take that sun and I'm gonna bounce that light in a straight line and reflect it onto my bullseye. Let's see how I can do. All right, so there's my bullseye, getting a good patch of sun, there it is. Now, have fun with it. See if you can direct it on different parts around your yard. Awesome. Make sure you don't reflect it into anyone's face though.